what's good everybody it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk you know candace owens likes to debase or degrade what she considers black culture and of course she does this with in my honest opinion and uh, an all-white audience and um, and now she's suffering behind that uh most of those guys are they're going so hard for the you know the right and especially those people who are let me say anti-israel so she's getting demonetized and um you know really with not much to offer than a whole bunch of chaos she tries to go viral again she says gangster rap was never a black culture it was created by the feds who preferred deals to homosexual black men in prison and then turned them into artificial celebrities the goal was to create false idols to destroy black american values so candace owens is blaming the feds for this right which we would consider some of us white supremacy now let us listen to this clip of Candace Owens talking about black people's ability to resolve issues. It's a broken culture. It's a broken society and hip hop is hurting things. But I also want to talk to you about something I've realized, even if black Americans are aware and know their history. Right. And you can get black conservatives who understand the history much more, who understand, you know, the ills of the left and what the left has done. But still in that regard, you they bring to the conservative side the same bad habits that I was hoping black conservatives would be abandoning. And what I'm talking about, number one, is conflict resolution. Black Americans do not know how to resolve basic conflicts. Everything has to turn into a fight. I hate you forever. You got to draw lines. It's like you're this gang or that gang. And you still see it happening in politics. Okay, so if black people can't resolve issues, that means that this is not a black culture problem, it's the feds. And if the feds created it, then white supremacy indeed is real, according to you, so you'd never have an argument about talking about the black community. And that's what I will believe. But you're a Caribbean person. No, no disrespect to the Caribbeans, brothers and sisters that understand our culture and live amongst us. But you know, hey, doesn't seem like you really grew up in what we consider black America, okay? So I don't even know why you're talking about this, but hey, anything to go viral these days, okay? Ice Cube responds to this. We called it reality rap. The industry coined it gangster rap. The fans wanted gangster rap and that's what they got. The feds didn't write none of my ish. I'm a real MC. Now, then it gets even more interesting in the comments, okay? This person Lamont Fur goes, crack and heroin flooded every economically challenged part of the country, but you want to blame music. This other person goes, Casual 88, unfortunately music did play a part with the crack being pumped into our black and Latino neighborhoods. Then Ice Cube responds, Bullish crack was in the neighborhoods a decade before gangster rap. In the 70s, they called it free base. So was heroin, weed, Molly's gang banging, drive bys, pimping a home and dropping out of school, young girls getting pregnant, cussing and using the N-word. It was all here before M NWA, which is true. I know some original Crips and they was doing drive bys to flashlight, going to the disco, you know, doing drive bys. The guy Raymond Washington, one of the founders of the Crips, he got killed with a shot off shotgun and like 1979, when he was 25 years old, that was way before that. And the, the, the murder rate in the late 70s, going into the 80s before NWA came out, was already on point. You didn't need no gangster rap for what was going down in LA. Okay. Now, if you want to talk about gangster rap, told a lot of the stories, especially in the 70s. And I wasn't born, but I came in 81. The 70s was a good time for a lot of love music. And so was the 80s. So was the 80s. But rap music came out and told a story about how trifling certain sisters could be in the black community, which was not being talked about on records. You know, when NWA came out and talked about their issues with women and what women were doing in black America, setting dudes up and, and dudes was like, oh shoot, like, yo, 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 really? And the reason why it took off because so many brothers could relate to it. You know what I'm saying? And then let me kind of get back to the whole Candace Owen things about what is black culture. First of all, and this is for anybody who is uh, a person that, you know, you basically twerk for the, 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 the alternative right. Why are you so concerned about black culture? You have a white husband or a European Jewish husband. Um, most of your colleagues that you talk to are always anti-black. Everybody you bring on your platform is like Andrew Tate or it's uh, somebody like Kanye. So why are you caring about the, the, the black community and all of that? And the, and the reason is, is because the racist right part of it, 
needs to have a person, a stool pigeon, to come out and say these derogatory things about African Americans because they don't want to really say that, right? They don't want to say that. So they need somebody stupid enough to come out and say these things. So this is indeed what happens. They get these people to come out and disrespect the community at all costs, say all of these weird things about black people, say all of these hurtful things all the time. And so when they say these things, then folks come around and look stupid like, oh, we didn't know. And you know, well, we didn't say it, but no, cause you got Candace Owens to say it. And that's one part of, and like I said, and this is something that happens too often. And this is why a lot of blacks don't like, hold on, this is why a lot of blacks don't even want to consider uh, becoming Republican because of this, because really it doesn't make any sense, right? No, 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 a, a lot of black people just can't get down with that. With somebody like Candace Owens being propped up by a whole bunch of, you know, whites on the right. Now for me, the lesser of the two evils, I would rather, listen to what I'm about to say, I would rather deal with somebody who I know is a hater directly than somebody who's stabbing me in the back and I already know, no, listen, if I had to pick one of the two, I'll, 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 I'll rock with the Republicans. Democrats for sure hate you, okay? Their policies hate you. So that don't really matter to me about that. I'm dealing with policies. You can say whatever you want. I don't, I don't, I don't deal with that. People are gonna say what they wanna say anyway. But the fact that they have her saying this or she's saying it for them, basically just to come out there and to booty clap. And like, I, I, and I'm looking at your career and look at uh, what's going on with Myron. These people have torqued so hard for white people. They've lost their own income, okay? You really risked your money, your coins. You've missed your opportunities sticking up for these people who can't say these silly things. And then you thought maybe that you could say it because you were black or because you're a woman until you find out that you can't say it. Now you're demonetized, you know? Myron has done all kinds of stuff for these white people trying to prove to them that he's loyal to them and that he that he loves them and he wants to work with them. He looks like he he sounds like an idiot. Look at him now. Now he's down, now he's demonetized from Twitter. And you know I'm gonna, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get on him about that. You have booty clapped it so much for his daddy, you don't even have anything anymore. And the same thing with Candace Owens. You want to be uh on the alt on the alt lights so much. Shout out to Tariq for that. You will do anything, you will say anything. And, and then when you get broke, the people not gonna support you. Look at Myron, you demonetized from YouTube. No money there, okay? You got demonetized Instagram and Facebook. No money there. Demonetized on Twitch, no money there. Now then, what's going on here? Demonetized from X, Candace Owens demonetized. You have to simp so much that it hurts you. But let me tell you this, on the other side, Nobody would ever simp so much for the blacks over there that you lose anything. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you for all you just heard about.